let's take a look at the concept of open meetings in public administration and administrative law. The federal government and all 50 states promote transparency through open meetings laws. Their purpose is to place agencies' oral policymaking in full public view in order to obtain better decisions, promote greater understanding of government, and generate more trust and confidence in it. Open meeting laws are often called sunshine laws. However, despite their popularity, these laws are often criticized for being cumbersome, having a chilling effect on informal, collegial discussions, and driving agency decision-making backstage, which leads to scripted, perfunctory open meetings. At the federal level, the major open meeting laws are the Government in the Sunshine Act of 1976 and the Federal Advisory Committee Act of 1972. The Sunshine Act applies to multi-headed federal boards and commissions to which a majority of the members are appointed by the President with advice and consent of the Senate. Covered agencies are required to give at least one week's advance notice of their meetings. In principle, all meetings of a quorum of the agency members necessary for official business should be open to the public. By a majority vote, meetings or portions of them may be closed in the public interest for reasons that parallel FOIA exemptions. Enforcement is by civil lawsuit, though the Sunshine Act has not produced much significant litigation. The remedy for improper closure of a meeting is likely to be access to the agency's transcript. Under the Federal Act, an agency action cannot be invalidated on the basis of a meeting should have been open.